Hi everybody, my name is Sean Pengali from Shelly Automation. Uh, I work out of the Toronto office and today I'm going to demo for you the Cognex Insight IS2000C color vision sensor. It comes in uh, different formats. Uh, we have here the standard with a straight connection at the back. We have here a torch, a white torch light. comes with interchangeable lenses and you have a focus screw here on the back. Uh, then we have a power I.O. connection and also an Ethernet connection and we do support industrial protocols including EIP, Modbus TCP and Profinet. Other formats here are the right angle version and you can actually change this to a right angle by just undoing these screws. And then we have our mini version with a much smaller light for very compact areas and this model will also do autofocus as well. And they all have interchangeable lenses. So the application I'm going to show you today is to detect presence of these clips as well as the color of the clips. And advantages of a color vision sensor over a color photoelectric sensor is you can do a much larger standoff um, we can also locate the part in case you get a bit of movement of the part and we can set up a sensing window that can accommodate movement in the feature in this case the clip whereas if we just used a photoelectric sensor we'd have a very small point and the part would have to be very accurately fixtured. Um, another big advantage is the amount of colors we can set up is basically unlimited. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the Sinsight 2000 color vision sensor. First thing we're going to do is we're going to connect to the camera and that's going to connect it on the Ethernet cable. And um, then we're going to set up the image. And focus, focus the camera. So you can see here that we're going to maximize the position of this green line and get the best focus we can. Then we're going to optimize our lighting using our intensity selection. And once we do that, the image is set up. Next step, if we wanted to actually locate off a feature in the part, we could set up a locate tool. But in this case, we're just going to use the standard tools. And so now we go right into the inspection tools. In this case, we're using a color pixel count tool. We already have two of them set up and we're going to set up the blue tool and show you how that's done. So we drag and drop a region of interest. We're going to name it blue. Then we're going to train. And then we use an eyedropper tool to trace around the actual feature where we're inspecting for the color. And then we're going to set up a tolerance for that color by moving the um, tolerance bars into position. And it's as easy as that. And we would duplicate that on all the other colors we were looking at. And then to demonstrate, move this part around so we come in here in this tool we're passing but if we move off it fails I move over the red it fails goes red okay when I'm actually on the blue it's green move over to the white it's a fail move off it's a fail so it's as simple as that uh, next steps would be to set up the I.O. We can use digital I.O. that comes right out on this power I.O. cable and also configure our communication, our industrial Ethernet protocols. And it's as simple as that. Just doing that and we have the whole application set up. Thanks everybody for joining us today. If you have an application or you'd like to discuss further, please contact us. See the link at the bottom and please connect with us on LinkedIn.